In this lecture, we're going to discuss about how you can create a SQL Server in memory OLTP enabled database. To this end, we are going to talk about some considerations you need to take into account when creating an in memory OLTP enabled database. And then we will jump right into the live demonstration where we are going to create our first in memory OLTP database, which will be also used in subsequent live demonstrations. So, the procedure to create an in memory OLTP enabled database in SQL Server, first of all, it is to check the requirements. So, by checking out the previous lecture, you can see the list of requirements and the approach you need to have in order to check whether your environment can host an in memory OLTP enabled database. Examples of such checks include SQL Server version, edition check, etc. The next step is to create a database and then alter the database in order to elevate to snapshot isolation level. And that's because when you have cross-container transactions, for example, you use disk-based and memory-optimized tables in a single transaction, the memory-optimized portion of the transaction needs to operate in the snapshot database isolation level. That's why you need to alter the database and set the isolation level to memory-optimized elevate to snapshot. The next step is to alter the database and add a memory optimized file group. So you can do that with the command add file group. You specify the file group name and the keyword contains memory optimized data. The next step is to alter the database and add the file for hosting the memory optimized objects. So you can do that with the add file command. The next steps include creating memory optimized tables, natively compiled stop procedures, memory optimized table variables, and so on. We're going to talk about this in the next section where we're going to see what are memory optimized tables and how you can start working with them. Okay, now we are ready to jump right into our live demonstration where we will be creating a SQL Server in memory OLTP enabled database. So here we are in our test environment. I'm using SQL Server 2019 Developer Edition. And this is the script I prepare for creating our in-memory OLTP database. So you see the first step it is to create a simple database just like you do in any other cases. So with the create database command, we specify the database name in mem OLTP and in B and we create our database. All right. Then we switch context to the newly created database that is in mem all tp and in b let's refresh the tree view here you can see this is our database and the next step it is to set the isolation level for memory optimized tables to snapshot so we alter database in mem all tp and we set the isolation level to memory optimized elevate to snapshot all right the next step it is to add a memory optimized file group to the database. So we do that again with the alter database command add file group. So we add a file group and we name it in mem in b underscore mofg and we specify that it contains memory optimized data. Now the last step it is to add a file for hosting the memory optimized objects. You can set any path you like for doing that. You do that with the alter database command again, you add file. And in this example, I'm using the cdemos mem opt data directory. So in order for this to work, you need to create this directory before running the script. I have created the directory and I'm ready to create the file for hosting my memory optimized objects. Okay, now let's refresh here. And if we go to the properties of in mem OLTP in B, you can see in the files view that besides the data and log files, I have another file that is in mem OLTP in B underscore MOFG1 that is of the type file stream data and belongs to the file group in mem OLTP underscore MOFG. So this is the file I created for hosting the memory optimized objects and belongs to the file group in mem all tp in b underscore mofg so you see here you see the primary file group and here on the below part of the screen you can see when it comes to memory optimized data i have the file group in mem all tp in b underscore mofg 
So right now we have created our in-memory OLTP enabled database and now the database is ready to host memory optimized tables, natively compiled stop procedures, but also the traditional disk-based database objects like tables, stop procedures and more. So let's switch back to the lecture and we will return back to our test environment later in order to start creating memory optimized objects and running comparisons between disk based operations and memory optimized objects. This video is part of my online course Boost SQL Server Database Performance with in-memory OLTP. Check the video description for enrolling to the course with a major discount. Thank you for watching this video.